Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Blossoms and Bourbon. My name is Mark. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here in my workroom. Total credit for tonight's uh, concept came from Jason. He found these great little containers that are wall mounted. Um, they actually come with a little um, hook that you can just nail with these little nails right into the wall. Um, and so then the vase is built with a little hole in the back of it and then the vase hooks on the little hook on the thing. I didn't want to use these and make this a permanent installation. So what I did for this little setup is use a command strip and the command strip seems to work well. Um, fingers crossed that I have the command strip big enough that it's going to support the weight of this once water's in there, but um, it works great. They come in two different shapes uh, that we found um, a round and then also sort of a, a cylinder shape, which I really like. So. Uh, let's get some water in these things and throw some flowers in them. I think this is going to be super fun. And uh, this is just a piece of foam core that I put in the frame. I'm also going to use my little friend here, the squeeze bottle with the water in it, because that's going to be a lot easier with this round one. We've been selling here at the shop some things that are small containers that people have used for um, cuttings that they're trying to get to root so that they can, you know, plant them and, and have additional plants from. Um, these are something that would work beautifully for that. And so not only would they work for, you know, creating that cutting sort of, um, and growing roots on cuttings, but then they also kind of create art. So you could group them on your um, wall at home. You could actually put them in a frame that you've hung on the wall, which would be kind of cool like this. Um, so I'm using some locally grown flowers uh, for this, as well as some stuff that we normally have here at the store. Uh, this is a form of Rudbeckia or Black Eyed Susan that's called Trilobia. Came from a local grower. Look at that. That's one stem, which is crazy. Uh, the mileage that we're going to get out of that. So let's just go in. Again, don't forget the rules about making sure that we have no foliage below the water line. This one may be a little bit more challenging because of the water level. We want to be sure that we have stems down in there. But I thought it would be fun to just create something very simple and kind of whimsical with bright colors that would remind us of summer. I also like visually connecting this. So you're going to see that I'm going to try my best to make some of this material work that way so that one vase connects to another, connects to another, so that visually your eye kind of moves through all of them. This rose is called Orange Crush. Um, it's another one of my favorites because it's such a beautiful kind of sherbet color of orange, but got some nice vibrancy around the edge. You can see there, there's the darker coloration around the edge of the bloom. By the way, thank you all again for watching, for commenting. It's been so much fun having you guys tell me where you're watching from. So please keep that up. If you're watching, um, I'd love to know where you're watching from. And appreciate all those great comments that you make, the encouragement, you guys are awesome. Pink Gerbers just for a little bit of fun. We're gonna go up above the edge of that frame. All right, so there we go visually. I wanna turn this one a little bit so he's kind of facing in this direction. This one is now looking at the one below it. That whole visual link is happening just like I wanted it to. This really pretty kind of fluffy, purpley flowers called Ageratum. Um, it's grown as an annual here in our area. So, I was on vacation last week with my family. Uh, we vacationed in North Carolina at Ocean Isle, which if you haven't been, you should go. It's a great beach. Um, and this particular bourbon is called City Walk. It's from the City Walk Distillery, and that is in Hickory, North Carolina. Um, it's apparently a very new distillery, and a funny thing that I saw online about it was they said, um, this bottle was sourced from Texas while ours is aging. And I just thought that was hilarious. So they've, they've brought in some uh, distilled bourbon already, put it in bottles, 
under the mix and the mash bill that they're uh, going to be working under. This distillery also does gin, vodka, as well as bourbon. Um, yeah, that seems pretty nice. That is nice. Not too hot. There's a little bit of heat, which is pretty much with any distilled spirit, you're going to have that. But um, definitely the vanilla kind of caramelly tones. That's nice. I do like looking for, when I'm traveling, um, a local, locally distilled product. I think that's just a lot of fun. I'm going to go for, oh, this is terrible. I'm not going to remember the name of this. Locally grown foliage Baptisia, I want to say. Maybe could be right. Um, yep, and you see that's the thing that's going to help me visually create that link from this vase over to this one. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about using the combination of the cylinders and the round together, but I kind of like it. I am going to post a, an affiliate link for these containers uh, below the description of the video so that if you guys decide that you want one, feel free to hop on there and get one. There is, um, I'll collect a small commission if you decide to make a purchase, but um, yep, so they are, they are available. What do we think? I'm going to have another sip of bourbon while Jason tells me what he thinks. <laughs> All right. I didn't even have time for a sip. I got a thumbs up. Yeah, pretty cool. And I did um, pull a couple of this uh, is some sections of curly willow. Uh, we use a lot of curly willow here at the shop and sometimes the stub ends are just kind of left over. Um, this is exactly what I was talking about with using one of these to create a cutting and to grow roots on something. These little ends that are growing roots, um, we'll let that go for a little bit longer. This one is just about ready. Uh, they can be potted in soil and this will grow new plants then. So I love when the little leaves start to come out on it. If you have other cuttings at home, like this uh, English ivy, this also makes for a great one. And let's just pop this off for a sec. Sit that there. Pop this here. So you can kind of see what that looks like. It would be really a fun way to have those in your home. Just kind of watch them, watch the roots develop. The ivy is another great choice. Uh, pothos is a vine that's very easy to root. So if you have a pothos plant and you want to get some additional cuttings from it, um, it's a great, uh, great one to, to do this with, to propagate this. Well, um, you guys, this has been so much fun. Um, it about wraps up this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Um, if you aren't interested in these containers, uh, there will be a link below the description of the video here. Uh, check that out. So until next time, cheers to you and to flowers every day. Thanks for joining. <laughs>